The Fly Cooper series is a trilogy of stealth action platforming games made and published by Sucker Punch Productions between 2002 and 2005. These games, made for the PS2, received a HD remake in 2010 for the PlayStation 3. In these games, the player takes the role of Sly Cooper and his best friends, Bentley, the brains of the operation, and Murray, the brawns of the operation. As the trio travels the world committing heists in order to gain wealth and protect the Cooper family legacy. The three games follow the three different adventures of the group, with the first game having Sly battle against the Fiendish Five and their leader Clockwork, an immortal mechanical bird who has fought against the Cooper family for generations. In the second game, they prevent his resurrection by the hands of the Claw Gang, and in the third game, they expand the team in order to steal back the Cooper Vault from Dr. M, a previous partner of Sly's father. In this video, I will discuss my personal attraction to the series using Young's Theory of Wish Fulfillment and Lacan's Theory of Desire. Young's Theory of Wish Fulfillment, in essence, claims that humans express themselves in a way that exposes their deepest desires. Um, whether consciously or unconsciously, a person will act like and enjoy things that relate to their deepest wishes. For me, one of my deepest childhood wishes was to have really good, close-knit friends, as I struggled with some mild bullying and just generally not having people interested in the same things I was interested in, leaving me largely alone. The Sly Cooper series in that regard can be seen as a way of me fulfilling my wishes that to have these close friends by joining Sly and his friends in their adventures. This is made even more fulfilling for myself by the fact that Sly and his friends are constantly in conversation with each other before, after, and during their missions. There's never a moment that goes by where they're not interacting with each other in some way or shape. Each character also has a clear personality, distinct to themselves, and separate from my own. Sly is cool, calm, and collected. Murray just enjoys eating and fighting and Bentley is panicky, nervous, but incredibly intelligent. It was a combination of these factors that made my younger self feel like he was involved with a group with a real sense of history and a repertoire with each other. This made it easy for my younger self to latch on to these games as a way to fulfill that desire for himself, which would constantly lead to me coming back to them and replaying them to re-experience the closeness that these characters share. These constant replayings would then lead into the next reason why I am so personally attached to these games. They give me a sense of control. In his theory, Lacan describes desire as a want for something else, a continually deferred desire that can never really be acquired, and that perfectly captures how my younger self desired to have more control in his own life. Being forced to complete tasks in class that my younger self found unenjoyable and boring, combined with no way to stop the bullying that affected him daily, my younger self found comfort in how his mastery of the Sly Cooper games granted him some semblance of control. Due to my skill, the challenges that the game put forward toward me were easily beatable. This was greatly enjoyable to me, as even though I was being attacked by these games, they had no way to stop me. I knew exactly how to handle every enemy, how to beat every little mini game, and I knew exactly what I needed to do to beat the game. Despite the game's attempts, my skills granted me a complete control over everything that happened, and nothing presented to me would change that. This is why the first game in the series is my least favourite, because of the different style of gameplay, and due to the fact that I haven't played it as much, I don't have the same level of control with it. When I struggled to find control in my everyday life, the Sly Cooper trilogy allowed me to feel some control in the world of the game. I was no longer at anyone's whims but my own, and anything that attempted to push back or attack me, I could easily handle. Young's theory of wish fulfillment and Lacan's theory of desire perfectly explain why my childhood self enjoyed these games so much and why they continue to be near and dear to my heart to this day.